how to add stroke in Adobe Premiere Pro. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how you can add a stroke to Adobe Premiere Pro. The first thing we want to do here is make sure that this is a PNG file which means it doesn't actually have a background. If it does have a background when you enter in a stroke or when you add a stroke onto the image it will actually stroke the whole frame instead of just the image. So just make sure that it is a PNG and there is no background on it. The second thing we want to do now is make sure that we have our selection tool selected and it's highlighted in blue and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select our image and here it is. So what happens is your effects controls panel opens up over here on the left hand side at the top and if you scroll you will now see your actual dice. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to go now again to the bottom panel over here and we're going to tap on effects and over here we are going to type in paint bucket and while you're typing you'll see that it'll come up it'll be in the folder obsolete and we can now select the paint bucket we can click down and we can drag it over and drop it onto our item over here now as you can see there is a marker that has actually selected a part of our image and that's why it has turned this dot red. So what we're going to do to change this is in fact go over to our effects control and you can see over here if you scroll down you will see your paint bucket and you will see all the effects that you can do and all the changes you can make on this paint bucket effect. So we're going to look now the first thing for full selector and it is currently set a default to color and alpha and we're going to use that drop down menu. So out of all the options that you see over here, you're going to want to select alpha channel and it will now select the entire image that you want to add a stroke to. So now we can go over and we can look for the next thing that is the stroke line over here. And you see over here it says anti alias we're going to tap on that and we're going to look for the stroke option now once you tap on stroke you will see that there is a very slight outline over here you can now see that there is a stroke width which is currently set at three points so what you can do now is click down and if you scroll to the right and that number will increase on your video you will actually see that the size of the stroke will start increasing you can now put this as to whatever number it is that you would like and you can see now that it has increased you can now also invert the fill so it'll be whatever is not filled you can change that you can also change the opacity of the stroke so let's say perhaps we want it at 50 percent you can see that that is now blended to 50 percent and then there is a blending mode now perhaps you have the image and it has a stroke around the image perhaps you would like to blend it with the background let's say it's overlaying a video you can go ahead and you can choose the preset over here under the blending mode and you can change how it actually looks with the video or the layer beneath it For right now we're going to leave it just as normal as is so you can go now and you can change all of the properties now of your stroke and once you're done then you can export your video Another way you can add a stroke is by adding it to text. So we're going to go down now on your toolbar and we're going to select the type tool and you can now select an area where you want to enter in your text. Once you've got your text over here, you can go over and make sure that your text is actually selected in your timeline over here. And you're going to go over again to the effects control and you're going to scroll and look for text. And you can, on the extreme left, you'll see a little arrow and you can tap on that and it'll give you all of your text options. Now you can go down and you can see that underneath appearance, there is fill and stroke and here is where you can actually define that stroke so you can select it and make sure that it is on and this text now has a stroke so again you want to make sure that your stroke number matches so that you can actually see it and here you can actually define whether it's inner center or outer and you can see now that this is now starting to be defined so if you just increase that you can see clearly that there is a stroke around that text so you can now add a stroke around an image making sure that it's png and then you can also add a stroke around your text 
there we go folks i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like and we will see you in another awesome video happy editing bye bye